Hey, my friends, we have an exciting day today. I have designed my shop in creative, which is the first time I've designed an entire build for survival in creative. And we're gonna build it today. I'm so excited, it looks so good. It's something that I can actually be kind of like proud of to put on, oh wow, there we go. Uh, proud of to be put on this server that's full of people who build wonderful things all the time. Now we have one more thing that needs to be done in order to be able to fully stock our shop and that is get our effect arrows. And um, I've hollowed out this space for a villager breeder. It's far enough down but directly underneath our enchanting area so that we won't actually be able to hear the villagers. And now I just need to uh, fill this up and get some villagers in it. Okay, well the breeder itself is set up here. So, I think we're ready to go get us some villagers. I'll be honest, this little spot where they keep getting trapped is pretty heckin' useful. Okay, let's see if they have gone all the way over and if they've made it. I had them dropping down onto a... Oh, I should have actually checked after the first guy went. Because I don't know if they can drop down on top of each other. Oh, okay, perfect, actually. Now let's see if the one guy made it down safely. He did! Awesome! Incredible. Okay, okay, and now we just need to get the other one in there. We'll go ahead and push him in. Goodbye, sir. Oh. Ha, what? Excuse? There he goes. Okay, my hope is that we won't ever need to access this side of things again. But let's take ourselves right here and out through here. And hopefully they will start making a little babies, but we need now this side. We have a child villager! And somehow he didn't end up being the cold version of these guys. So I'm curious about that. Okay, well my plan at this point is to wait for some more baby villagers and villagers to start growing up. We'll put them in mine carts and ship them just behind a fletching table. And I have a ton of sticks from our witch farm. And we will trade them up from there. Um, I think I have enough villagers now. I uh, AFK'd uh, because I needed to go work and um, I had made the mistake of murdering one of my current Fletcher's brethren before their eyes. Come on, I should place, I should place some rails there. I'm not dumb, just slow. But yeah, I had uh, murdered one of their brethren and I was like, I don't want to like sit here and necessarily wait for them to to not be mad at me. So I'm just gonna AFK instead. And uh, well, that happened. Okay, you're just gonna pop right in there. Awesome, we'll give you a fletching table. Very cool, all right. They are no longer angry at me, which means that I can spend a little bit of time trading with them. We're out of sticks there, so. Here's the annoying thing about flesh Fletchers. You have to buy so much stuff from them in order to level them up, as opposed to being able to sell them things. Moment of truth. Slowness. That's what the last guy gave me. I don't need those ones. I already have access to those. So these two guys are duds. What about you, sir? Will you carry through? Okay, Turtle Master. Yep, we needed that. So, congratulations. You get to live. Okay. This is going to be the pit of sacrifice here. Alright, goodbye, sir. My apologies. I'm very, very sorry. Oh. 
We shall have to be tricksy with this one. I'm so sorry, sir. Okay, so I stayed up to an ungodly hour last night. It, it was actually really bad. Um, and traded up a bunch of Fletchers and threw far too many bows and crossbows and Fletchers and my nice diamond axes into the lava. It's fine. It's fine. I also spent literally hours um, trading at the public trading hall to try to get more emeralds. Um, I spent two sessions there getting almost two stacks of emerald blocks each time. Uh, I could zombie cure, or like zombify and cure them, but I kill so many of them it wouldn't be worth it. This is, of course, a temporary setup. We'll we'll have an actual like place for these guys eventually. Um, but yeah, for now we stuck them in a little one by two hole, and this is gonna be where we're gonna scooch our zombie back behind them. I also did um, make another cleric just because it's useful. I think we're gonna sell some bottles of enchanting in our shop. Um, so yeah. But we gotta zombify these guys next. As soon as I get a guy with healing effect arrows. Oh, and we have a zombie incoming. Okay. Hi. Hey, bub. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. Bud, come on. That was rude. Okay, come on. Right there. Right there. Come on. Get in the stinking thing. Okay. Let me take just a second. There we go. Awesome sauce. Come on. I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? I mean, it's not exactly a fun operation. Go on. There we go. Much better. Wow, we've successfully captured a zombie. Well, we've got him. He can't reach villagers currently, but let's go ahead and give him a quick name tag. Okay, Mr. Grumbles. Hello. There you go. We'll get back to you in a bit. And hopefully my bed should just be far enough away that I can sleep. My apologies, good sir. Okay. And this is how it goes. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Okay, but guys, I feel like I've gotten so much better at this game, because, like, I don't know, a couple months ago, I would be shaking and sobbing after, after getting a zombie like that, but no, no, we did good. I'm shaking, why am I shaking? I wish I could, like, push him with a stick. Joom. No, you are not allowed to come Frickin' back. Okay, what have you got for me? Night vision again. Come on, you guys and your night vision. All right. Well, you get to burn in the fiery pit. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. And you two. Awesome. Okay. And we should only need to cure these guys once because that's all that's going to make a difference. Okay, so just this... This dude now and they should all start healing let's take a look at what these guys have to offer us yeah one one emerald for our arrows now which is exactly what we needed and we have happily revillagerized villagers hi yeah now we can actually like do some actual trading get you all traded up 
ready to go. We'll wait and make sure that we don't need any more villagers. Um, I might do, you know, a farmer or two or something like that. But yeah. Yeah, we've got, we've got all the trading we need at this point. So my plan from here is going to be to clean up my mess. And then get some materials. The rest of everything that I need to build our shop. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Okay, we have just a couple more items that we need in order to get building. And we're going to obtain them here in the shopping district. So, here we are. Oh, is somebody working on the post office? I was going to see if anyone wanted to help with that. Because it's been sitting there for quite a while. Alright, so it looks like this spot is marked out. And we're going to have to kind of finagle our little build into these areas. So that's the one thing I'm going to have to like mark out a little bit and figure out which this orange wool will come in quite handy for. So update everybody. Sally said that the truck can just go away and promptly took it down. So thank you. <laughs> I like that, that I think this is where our shop is going to live officially. Alrighty, well, I am going to get building and I'll bring you in with progress updates as we go. So this is what it looks like currently. The exterior is finished but not detailed. And I'm so happy with it, it looks so cute! <laughs> okay, so... The next thing we need to do is add all the exterior details, which isn't a ton, but there are some. Ah, yes. Oh, that's looking so much better. Now we gotta do it to all the sides. Well, and then the next thing for my tower that needs to be done is going to be the interior. So that might take me a bit, but I'll be back and report in later. I have the floor level interior finished, mostly. I'm waiting for a little bit more action on some of these vines, but this is what this downstairs looks like. This is just our complimentary brewing area. This corner will be brighter because there will be at least one glowberry on that. But yeah, this is going to be where people can come and make potions on their own. These barrels will be stocked with blaze powder to only be used in shop. And there will be a little book here explaining that in case anybody needs the explanation. So next what we need to do is we need to just finish up the upstairs a little bit. There's not a lot to do on it. So these are going to be for our potions. And then we'll put lights in this corner here. And over here, oh I need to grab bookshelves. We're going to have a couple of uh, miscellaneous potion related goods, bottles, bottles of enchanting, um, which aren't exactly potion related, but close enough, and some honey bottles too, which is the one thing that I just don't have yet. I can't, you guys. This is so cute. It's a lot like the little witch hut we built in my little building challenge series, and I love it. Okay, so we've renamed some of these barrels with the pricing um and honey bottles and bottles of enchanting will be per stack of 16 everything else is just going to be a diamond per stack and then our potion pricing is going to be mix and match so like this section is going to be like the most common easiest to get and these are going to be kind of our like regularly used normal rarity and then these are a little bit harder to get or less used um and we're gonna do it in mix and match so everything's gonna be put out in stacks of 16 here eight here and four here and you can mix and match four stacks of those and I'm gonna explain that in a little book right here now with our upper area completed we have just one little spot inside the shop that's going to be a little bit more secret, our dark arts section. And 
I'm not sure I'm going to put that on camera just yet because I know lots of you watching are from this server and I want it to be a little bit of a look for it. It's not going to be hard to find. You just have to be mildly observant, which let's be real. I'm not. And I know that there are plenty of people on this server who are not either. So yeah, but maybe, maybe next episode we'll go take a little look because I love how I've designed it. Anyways, I will come back when we're ready to start building up the rest of the exterior of this. Yeah, no, I didn't forget the giant flowers. That's why we built under the bees after all. Okay, now I've stocked up everything in the shop a little bit more. And I think we're ready to get building. Okay, and then from here, let's see. Where should our first flower go? Probably this seems like a decent spot. We'll start here, we'll curve it outwards just a little bit. Well, our first flower is up. And we should go ahead and add, I think I'm gonna put an iris back here. It's gonna end up underneath a bee and just behind the pond for oh honey. Okay, I think these flowers definitely add to the enchanted build. <laughs> um. So the last thing we need to do then is just add the paths in to the door and over to Oh Honey. Yeah, I'm, I am pretty happy with how this build turned out. Um, you can see we kind of put a path back in in a very similar style to what we had here when we had just our little, our little stand. You know, every time I make something new, I say I think this is my new favorite build and. Yeah, again, I think this is my new favorite build. Okay, we're gonna take a little moment here and try and implement the suggestion that Radifix had. Yeah, I think adding that stone does tie it into the ground a little bit better. I like that. And well, I don't know about you, but I've spent two days building this thing. I'm ready for some adventure time. And by adventure, I don't mean that we're going to go do anything particularly dangerous, but I wanted to explore the, uh, I guess, previous... Oh, what is this? I have not seen this before. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, stuff like this. Stuff like this is what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, what the... Alright, all of you Arcadians who are watching this, please explain. Just... Just explain. All right, so this is what, this is where I want to start our exploration. I want to pop in here, and I think that this is like old spawn. Now there are a few builds around, including one that's north of here, labeled Disneyland, and I gotta see it. You know? Oh, I love. I love the armor stands. The armor stands look so good. Ah, this is awesome. Sorry, we're in a library. I should not be shouting. Ooh, there's something in the sky over there. We must investigate. There's a bunch of circular builds in this direction. Aha. Oh, did someone just build? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. This base is giving me so many ideas. Like, I want to build so many different types of bases. And one of those would be something in the sky. And this is a really cool layout. And I, 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 I like it. I like it a lot. That's the cool thing about the server, though, is that there's so much, like, history. Because it's been going since 1.16. So, like, there's a lot of... A lot of builds, a lot of places with history and so many cool things. And it's so fun to just kind of get to run around and see what people built. People who aren't even here anymore. And I just, yeah. Okay, well, there's a few more spots that we really need to go see just based on the names. Uh, the first one is directly this way <laughs> directly north of us 
and it is called The First of Many Hobbit Holes. So, of course, you know I need to go see it. It's right in here. Oh my gosh! It's so cute! Oh, this is adorable. I love it. It's very dark in there. Good heavens. Okay, the hobbit hole is uh, not as sweet and peaceful as it seems. Goodness. But it's very cute. It's very cute. Aha! It is not an island on, on, in the water. It is up in the sky. We love a good sky build. This one is called the Flying Shroom Trip. And I am very here for it. <laughs> now our little adventure reminded me that there's a kind of friend that I haven't made yet. And I need desperately. So this is the jungle over by the creeper farm. And I mean, I haven't seen a parrot yet. Oh, there's an ocelot. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's one. There's one. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Hi. Oh, first try? I thought parrots were like super hard. Hello. Hi. <gasps> oh! He's on my shoulder. Oh my gosh. Yes. Pretty little ocelots. Oh, little ocelots. Hey, choop, I got you. Yes. And, and you. Oh my gosh, I got ocelots too. Oh my heavens. I think we're going to go to Fort Grace because I think that there's a portal to the roof there. And that's going to be much closer to the ground, you know. Um, the, the creeper farm portal is super, super high in the sky. Gosh, is that just the birds? Are they doing that? Because that's not funny, guys. That must be a bird sound, right? Okay, I'm going to go through the portal. Check and see if there is... If it actually connects to the roof. Like, I assume it does. It's a big portal. Um, and then I'm going to put a boat down. Um, to catch, or a couple of boats down, to catch the ocelots on the other side. Just so that they don't end up running off. Okay, my burbs. Everybody, everybody here and accounted for? Awesome sauce. Everybody went through. Oh, let me grab the leads. And you, silly bird, come on. We've got one in a boat. That's good. What is happening there? Um, we've only got one. Where, where'd the others go? Oh, buddy, he went right back through the portal. Okay. Okay. What the heck, friends? Guys, where are my ocelots? They're all just gone. Like, gone, gone. They just entirely disappeared. What happened? No, we were doing so well. You all saw that, right? I'm not crazy. Like, I, there was one ocelot. He was in a boat. I broke the boat and he just disappeared. He didn't even get to the portal. He just disappeared. Well, I guess it's just another mystery in the days of bad luck with mobs for D. I knew that parrots imitated creeper sounds. What I didn't know is they apparently imitate the sounds of a bunch of different mobs. Hostile mobs and certain neutral mobs. And they they imitate it at a higher pitch than, than what, you know, the actual mob sounds like. I, 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 I mentioned my bad luck with mobs in the chat because, like, this, this is becoming a thing. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Um. Hello. Um. Hello. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Give me a second. I'll, I'll find a fence because I don't want to let them go somewhere. 
Yeah. Cause that's gonna. Uh, oh, oh, I, I have fences. I have fences. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't have a lot of fences, so this is like a. <laughs> uh, kind of crude version of it. Oh, uh, okay. Can have the leads too. I am. Oh, thank you. You get a mod? Perfect. Yep, yep, I got him. Thanks. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for coming along on today's adventures. I'm still so proud of this build. I oh, I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. Best thing I've built yet. We made some new friends and we had adventures and more mob mishaps because that's that's a thing with me. Apparently, it's still holding true. I swear, I must have a curse or something. But we had lots of fun today. I loved getting to see all of the, you know, old builds on the server. Um, it's really cool, like, being in a place with so much, like, history and so many people that have come and gone. And just being able to see all the bits of that um, and run around and, and experience the, the life on the server going back back a few years. It's really cool. Anyways, I will see you all in the next episode and I'm gonna go uh, take some ocelots home and hopefully not lose them this time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Okay, one's in a boat. And there's the other. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, gosh. Got ya. Cool. Cool, cool. We made it home safely. Oh my gosh.